My name is Danielle Purefoy and I'm from Durham, North Carolina. The kind of sense of pride of really covering the entirety of um, black history and black historical figures has been really um, incredible in my lifetime to, to see the um, the, the progress that we've made in terms of who we're featuring, um, all of the history that I didn't know already. Reclamation of Black History Month period um, um, from this sort of hyper-commercialized um, month where you see, you know, Martin Luther King featured in, um, in your local McDonald's, which is kind of a bizarre image, um, imagery to really focusing on the um, the substance of who he was, um, and also the substance of people like Ida B. Wells, who we haven't um, heard a lot about, um, uh, hasn't been featured as prominently. In recent years, particularly um, given the rise of sort of new social movement we're in with Black Lives Matter, uh, there's been a lot more emphasis on focusing on um, black feminists and uh, queer um, uh, uh, figures in history, um, and which is an exciting thing for me um, as a black queer woman. I think Harriet Tubman has been one person who, um, as a as a child, um, I definitely knew she was one of the women figures who I knew who she was, um, and I knew about the Underground Railroad, and I thought it was really extraordinary uh, the bravery of this woman to um, to lead other black folks to freedom um, and to um, and to lead them. Uh, and the way that she did through some really um, perilous terrain in a really perilous time. Another person is June Jordan, who I've been learning more and more about. Um, I actually started learning about June Jordan in college. Um, is a poet, a writer, activist, educator, um, who died I think, in 2002 of breast cancer. She did a, uh, a piece, um, I want to say, to be clear on this, I'm pretty sure it was GQ magazine back in 1965 that was a reconceptualization of how you improve housing in Harlem without gentrification. And um, it was called Sky Rise for Harlem. And a, uh, a friend of mine um, actually passed the um, article on to me and I read it a couple of years ago. I'm just blown away um, by the kind of ingenuity um, and the kind of idea and conceptualization of um, of space and it was a way in which I just never thought of it before. I think diversity is really important um, because when you have a, a, a student body, faculty body, administrative body that um, is reflective of a lot of different backgrounds and experiences, then um, the kinds of research questions you ask are going to be very different. Right, um, the kind of projects you pursue are going to be very different. The kind of learning that you, or the knowledge that you gain here, will be uh, ever more enriched. Right, and that's um, and that's a great goal um, uh, to seek. Right, um, but I think that that is that's a byproduct um, of having diversity in in a space, um, rather than sort of a central reason why you're going to want to um, pursue a diversity initiative.